What's going on guys, 68 Charger here. Welcome back to the page. So as you can see, I just recently got my seat back from the upholstery shop. So on this episode, I'm gonna be installing that seat as well as putting in some new armrests and some new seat belts. Let me know if you have any questions and as always, don't forget to that scrub button. Thanks for watching guys. All right guys, so these are the seats that I just recently installed on the front. Uh, these are Pro Car by SCAT, low back bucket seats. And uh, originally, I went over to the upholstery shops to have them match the back seats to the front since the backs needed to be reupholstered pretty bad. But after talking to them, I just decided to go ahead and go with a 68 charger pattern. So a uh, big shout out to Ben's Upholstery in Creedmoor, Texas. They did a really good job. They're super comfortable. So I think they're gonna go really well with my car. And so what I'm gonna eventually do is just uh, have them match the fronts to the back and that way I have a 68 charger pattern. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. All right, so before installing these seats, there's a couple of things I'm gonna have to do first. The first thing is I'm gonna have to remove the armrest on this side. I went ahead and removed the driver's side armrest so that I could take the seat out when I dropped it off. But to be able to put it in there without scratching anything, I'm gonna have to take both off. So another thing that I'm gonna have to do before putting the seat in is removing this panel right here and putting in this little bracket. Another issue that I'm gonna run into is when replacing these seat belts, it should be a really easy, just remove this bolt and this one right here and then you can put the new ones on. However, whenever I got the exhaust done back in like the mid 2000s, I believe, I don't know why, but they tacked welded the exhaust uh, hanger from uh, this bolt right here, same as this one. So I don't know if I'm gonna just have to do a new hole or if I'm going to just uh, grind that off, uh, take the bolt off and then take it back to an exhaust shop and have them re-tack it somewhere else. And there you can see that's where I'm missing that bracket from, so I'm just gonna have to put it in. I guess it goes like this, and then at that point we can get the, the panel back on. All right, that was super easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that back on and then we can go to the other side. All right guys, so as you can see, nothing's ever easy. They went ahead and tack welded the exhaust support onto that bolt for the seat belt. I think I'm gonna try to grind it off a little bit and then see if I can break the weld by turning it on the other side and hopefully I can get that done and then I'll just go back to the muffler shop and have them support it to a different uh, place that's not the bolt for the seat belt. I went ahead and just cut off the support bracket. Now the bolt can come out so I can put in the seat belt on the other end. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get a new exhaust system in a couple of weeks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it as is and then take it over to the muffler shop and have them fix it the right way and mount it to somewhere that's not the seat belt uh, bolt. As I just did the same to the passenger side, I'm gonna take out that uh, bolt and clean it up a little bit. And what's really frustrating is that, at least on this side, there's the bracket for the, the exhaust and then they went ahead and just used that instead of that. So that's kind of frustrating. And here's the final seat belt. This is the one that I just finished grinding down. So um, let's go ahead and put it in. All right, there you go guys. Uh, next step is just putting in the back seat and then we can finish up. All right guys, I just closed the garage door so you have a better look. So the back is in, so next thing to do is just put in the bottom and then we can put on the armrests and the window levers. So next thing to do is just to install these armrests and the new chrome bases. I really like this company because they always only advertise what they have in stock. So it's really nice to just have peace of mind knowing that you can get a part and not have to wait a couple of months for it. I'm gonna use the original screws from the old armrest.
All right, guys, so there's the final product all done. Super happy with the outcome. Let me know what you think in the comments, and thanks for watching.